Hello friends, welcome to Grammar Guru. In this video, you will see about subject and predicate. Before going to the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Grammar Guru. Today, I will introduce you to subject and predicate. When we make a sentence, we name some person or thing. We say something about that person or thing. In other words, we must have a subject to speak about and we must say or predicate something about that subject. Every sentence has two parts. They are subject and predicate. Now let's see about them. The part which names the person or thing we are speaking about is called the subject of the sentence. Predicate. The part which tells something about the subject is called the predicate of the sentence. He is a brave boy. In this sentence, we are speaking about he. So, he is the subject of the sentence. A brave boy is the predicate of the sentence because it describes the subject. Subject versus predicate. Subject is the person or thing performing the action. Predicate indicates the action performed by the subject. A subject is usually a noun, pronoun or noun phrase. A predicate contains the verb objects and other elements. A subject usually precedes the predicate. A predicate usually comes after the subject. There are two exceptional cases. Now let's see the first one. The subject of a sentence usually comes first but occasionally it is put after the predicate. Here comes the bus. In this sentence we are speaking about bus. So bus is the subject of this sentence. And here comes is the predicate of this sentence because it describes the subject. Now let's see the second exceptional case. In imperative sentences, the subject is left out. Please bring me a cup of coffee. In this sentence, there is no subject. Go to study. In this sentence also, there is no subject because the subject you is understood. Now let's have some practice questions. New Delhi is the capital of India. In this sentence, we are speaking about New Delhi. So, New Delhi is the subject of the sentence. The capital of India is the predicate of the sentence because it describes the subject. He has a good memory. In this sentence, we are speaking about he. So, he is the subject of the sentence. Has a good memory is the predicate of the sentence because it describes the subject. Bad habits grow unconsciously. In this sentence, we are speaking about bad habits. So, bad habits is the subject of the sentence. And grow unconsciously is the predicate of the sentence because it describes the subject. Nature is the best physician. In this sentence, we are speaking about nature. So, nature is the subject of the sentence. The best physician is the predicate of the sentence because it describes the subject. Hope you understood friends. Thanks for watching.